Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video will contain copyrighted material being used underneath Fair Use Act for educational purposes. Let's get started. FE Core is Pseudoscience Part 2. Okay, these photos here I'm going to show you are from 2016, August of 2016, when they did their first two or three different tests over several different days. So, like I say, Lake Balaton coming up will be probably their third, fourth, maybe even fifth time. Who knows? But this photo here was taken in 2016. Look at here. You see this box-shaped laser here. Looks like a telescope here. They're using to the zoom in on it. Do you see this box-shaped laser with the green laser beam out? All these pictures were taken in 2016 and were on FE Core's website. All right, let's keep moving here. Check out this one. Here is this custom-made laser that they had possession of in 2016. But Bob was just telling us a couple weeks ago on Globusters that FE Core just got their laser in from the manufacturer. That's a freaking lie. They've had this laser, and they've already done several tests with it. On Lake Balaton. These are the coordinates for Lake Balaton. Go ahead and check them. So it proves they've already had this laser that they claim was just specially made for them. And it says right here powerful laser with special collimator, professional equipment. <laughs> you know why I suspect this laser is so big? Because it's one of those. Uh, um, high-tech lasers that you can hook up to a computer and then you could uh, do anything with you can shoot a single beam you can shoot an image you know it's um, one of those lasers they use to do those special shows with okay and here they're just using it to shoot a straight beam across the freaking uh, <clears throat> lake and a culminator they act like this is some special kind of equipment you know what a culminator is ladies and gentlemen it's just a freaking lens that they use to focus the focal length of the beam. So in other words, if I have a piece of paper 10 feet away and I want to burn a hole in it, I adjust the focal length and then it burns a hole in it. But if I move the paper 20 feet away, then I got to adjust the focal length again. And there's only a limit to how much I could focus this. That's all a collimator is. It's nothing special. Think of it this way. Remember when you was a kid and you'd go out there with your magnifying glass and you would burn paper or if you were smoking at 10 years old, you'd use it to light your, use the sun's ray and the magnifying glass to, to light the cigarette and you move it closer and the beam gets smaller and smaller and more, di uh, uh, ver and more verged together. And if you keep going too far, it starts diverging. And if you pull too far away, it starts getting bigger again and diverging. Well, you're using that magnifying lens as a collimator. There's nothing special about a collimator. So, let's keep going. So, that's what they like to do. They like to use these fancy words and try to call it special to dupe you into thinking they're smart. And to make you feel dumb. What they're doing is no different than what Neil and Bob has been doing to globe earthers and flat earthers. You know, Jared and Bob, they complain about Neil and all them not giving them the time of day. Well, they do the same thing to flat earthers claiming you're too dumb for me to even respond. Get freaking real. So, let's keep going here. But you see, 2016... They've had this laser, all lies and deception. They're just repackaging all this and reselling it to you for money. That's all. So we left off yesterday with uh, with uh, this clown here measuring with a measuring tape, you know, trying to set it on top of the water and accurately. Do you know how much of a, uh, of, a of a degree of accuracy they were claiming? Well, let's listen. Um, it is important that the laser is leveled at the 0 0.005 degree of accuracy. 0 0.005 degrees of accuracy. That's five thousandths of a degree accuracy. 
and you see these are the same people that are going to be doing the Balaton experiment in a couple weeks. Okay. Now, I left off yesterday with um, their uh, most recent video, and that's what this, this is here. And pay attention because this is going to explain what they're going to do after Lake Balaton. They're going to take their test to the ocean. Watch this little graphic here. What happens if you see it? Then we will take all the measurements necessary to see why it didn't confirm with the Earth's curvature, and we will share these results with everyone. We see it or not. The results will be shared in either case. We see the light or not. If we see the light, the Earth is flat. That's all this is. Case. Our next experiment will... Check this out. Their next experiment's out on the ocean, and their little dinghy with a bunch of ding bats on the, on the boat, and calm seas is one to two foot rollers. So that means they're already starting out with a one or two foot degree of uh, inaccuracy. <laughs> and then they got this little, this is just freaking hilarious. Because remember, as you're going further and further, this beam is getting bigger and bigger and harder to accurately measure. <laughs> but this is after Lake Balaton. They're moving this test to the ocean with their laser. But there you go, more fuckery from them. Um, let's keep going here. Um, they, they're talking here about leveling the laser. Now I explained to you, because of divergence, the beam ever getting wider, there's no way to level it. So let's listen to this nonsense. How will the laser be leveled? Leveling the laser is not an easy thing to do. Let me, sh this is, footage from when they had the laser in 2016. This is footage from Dr. Zach's first experiment in 2016. Dr. Zach and Sandor. They're the same ones doing the next upcoming test. And this is the laser here. Again, it's nothing new. They've had it and they've ran extensive tests with it. So this idea that they don't know what's going to happen is bullshit. Many people think that using a spirit level is enough to level it, but a spirit level can never level it precisely. Not over those distances. I think the only video that's new in this whole thing is Karen doing this little stunt right here. Other than that, all the video that they're trying to tell you, they, they, they use trying to tell you that they're hard at work the last couple months is bullshit. That's all video from 2016. This is the only work they've done since they announced the FE core. Is Karen getting up there level in her picture, showing you how to use a level. <laughs> and then FE core making these videos. That's the only work they've done so far, ladies and gentlemen. Distances. This is not a picture you want to hang on a wall. <laughs> then why are you showing us a picture on a wall? Wow. Man, these people are something else. So then they go into divergence, and I explained to you yesterday what divergence is. Divergence is when you take the uh, your your flashlight, hold it all the way up against the wall, and just slowly back up. Imagine, and you see that beam getting bigger and bigger. Now you try to tell me exactly where the middle in that huge beam. Once you get five feet away, tell me how you can actually actually measure exactly where the middle of that beam is when it's five foot across there's no way so let's listen to this stuff about they called about divergence and they could they're going to ask uh, several other questions here and i'll just let it roll and stop when i need to how much divergence will the beam have well the divergence is going to be 0 0.08 millirad now this is what the manufacturer says when he tested his lasers indoors they never did a setup a uh, 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 a control they need to do a control. They need to do it in the atmosphere they're testing. They need to accurately measure how much divergence they're getting at, at least at two or three different distances. So anyways, 0 0.08 MRAD is the manufacturer's numbers. It was likely done indoor, not in the atmosphere. So let's keep going here. So we estimate that in 65 kilometers, the diameter of the laser beam will be around 5.3 meters. So at 40 miles, they estimate 
given off of the manufacturer's numbers that it will be 17.38 foot diameter. Yep. Now, how can you accurately find where the center of that 17.38 foot diameter is to get accurate measurements? And that's what I mean by divergence. A laser doesn't diverge as, much, as fast as a flashlight does, but it's the same effect. Divergence is going to kill any laser test that they do over long distance. Is the laser strong enough to reach the end of the lake? <laughs> this is something that we will test. No, they are The laser noticed. experts said that it is That's designed to reach longer distances, such as 100 kilometers. But lie. of course, to confirm this, we will have to do the experiments. Such experiments at these distances have never been done before. So this is going to tell us a lot of things. The laser beam is not the only problem we have. The weather is the worst problem. If the weather is foggy, like in the pretest, then we may not be able to do anything. What would happen if the laser beam didn't reach the target? If the laser beam doesn't reach 65 kilometers, then we will go back to 21 kilometers as it was confirmed to be seen from that distance in the pretest. The divergence of the beam at that distance was estimated to be one point. Estimated. See, they're guessing. <laughs> There's nothing accurate about this. Five meters. They didn't measure it because it was a bit far away and hard for them to point it now to watch the target. This. But they could see it was around 1.5 meters this in diameter. Like and if we do the math using 0 0.08 millirads, then the beam should have been around 1.7 meters in diameter. Should, should. So their we estimation don't exactly was pretty know accurate. What it was. So if the weather is clear and the laser is powerful enough to reach 65 kilometers, then the result will be as we. There you go. You see how narrow the beam starts out way up here and how big it gets down here? There's nothing accurate about this. And they're going to talk about they're going to try and level this beam. <laughs> How can you level a cone-shaped beam when you don't even know where the exact center is? <laughs> Just utter nonsense here. I think that's about it on this clip. We expect it. How high was the laser when they could see it from 21 kilometers or 13.04 miles? Yeah, that's it. We don't need to listen to that one. Um... Let me show you here. I'm going to show you just the effect of divergence they had on this laser on the lake. Now watch this video. This is from 2016 on Dr. Zach's. And I'll leave the video of the link below for their first uh, couple tests at Lake Balaton down below. It's on Dr. Zach's page. Let's watch this. From various There you go. Do you see the divergence of all this and the shadowing of, of, of the... Of the the effect it has when this um, laser hits this white board. Now keep watching here. You'll see how big this picture is examined. Is. Look how huge this laser beam is now. There's no way you can get any measurements out of this. And they're not that far from the lake right here. I think they're only like uh, three miles from the lake. And they're talking about taking this 40 something miles. You already see how big the laser is just a couple miles from the lake. After the test, we could see that the beam was reaching the other shore, but in one particular picture it showed a sharp uprising of the beam that seemed to indicate that refraction was causing the beam to rise up. See how, see how close they were to the, the, the shore there? They weren't that far, and that freaking had at least a one-foot diameter. <laughs> wow. I think their diversion numbers are off, or divergence numbers. Um, so anyways, let's keep going here. Um, they called, they're, they're trying to prove to you that they've been hard at work at this since they announced the test back in whatever, August of last year of uh, 2017 or whenever. No, they've done this test. They've used all this old footage to try to convince you they're out there doing tests right now. And then they're trying to say, well, does these pre-tests prove anything? Let's listen. Does this pre-test that Sandor and Dr. Zach have done prove <laughs> anything? No pre it really depends yeah. on what you mean by proof. To some people, it may already. prove something. And to others, it may mean nothing. Some people may think it was faked as it was not filmed properly. People should know that they went there to test the laser and do other tests as well for the team. But we decided to share their videos to let people know what we are preparing for. It's bullshit. 
They shared old videos from old tests that failed. And you can see how extensive they went, uh, overkill they went with this, uh, this uh, stand for the laser beam. <laughs> I mean, this is probably, I don't know how much money this is all here is, probably at least a grand. <laughs> Man, just overkill. Nonsense. So, anyways, um, one last clip here. They, they, they ask, what's a collimator? Let me explain to you. I think I already explained to you. A collimator is just a freaking lens. But let's listen to this nonsense here. We heard that you are using a collimator lens. So what is the collimator lens and what does it do? It has a huge laser resonator and a multiple lens system that makes the laser beam not diverge in a short distance. Not diverge in a short distance. That, that doesn't mean it it's, uh, it's, um, doesn't have divergent issues. All lasers do. Like I say, they're just adjusting the focal length to whatever length they set the target away at, be it 10 feet. And then as soon as they move the, the, the target even further, then the collimation's out of whack, so they have to recollimate. So the idea that they could set the collimator at one place and use it all the way across the lake is absurd. And then listen at the end of this, because they're going to claim that this collimator allows the beam to be the same distance all the way across the lake. Listen closely. So as we said before, the divergence is about 0.08 millirad, which makes the beam's diameter at 65 kilometers, about 5.3 meters. Without a collimator lens, the beam would be a lot wider and impossible to see at 65 kilometers, or may not even reach that distance. A laser without a collimator lens cannot go that far no matter how powerful it is. A laser without a collimator lens cannot go that far no matter how powerful it is. Even with the collimator lens, it can't go 41 miles. So they're just lying to you. They're using fancy words to deceive you. Just like the government scientists do. Nothing more. Anyways, I could keep going on. I got more and more stuff, but I'm going to save it because I know they're going to come out with more and more bullshit. So until then, have a good day, everybody.